It's like walking into paradise. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a different kind of a plantation, is it? This is for native wildflowers. Yeah. So it is. And I just thought that uh, there should be some sort of a... My idea was to have a showcase of our native wildflowers yeah. and especially the flowers that uh, every gardener can appreciate. But of course, if there are other flowers, then I'll put them in here as well. And it, it is important for me to learn how to propagate the native wildflowers. And uh, that's exactly what happened here. Have any examples of what's here now? Well, this is bush fetch. Fetch. Bush fetch. Bush, bush. It's a member of the pea fetch. family. Yeah. yeah. Pea family, yeah. When you, any member, uh, these, uh, any member of the pea family are so easy to propagate. And you just get the little seeds and you put them in the ground again. And you'll get a multitude of these gathering together and you just get this little carpet of flowers. Brilliant mm. for the bumblebees. After the dandelion goes over, you'll get the bush fetch and there's a lot of nectar in there for them. And over here we have the... This is red valerian. Yeah. And you'll, you'll see it growing in the walls. And a lot of times you're going, how the hell did it get in there? But they do. They put out so much seed that they end up in all sorts of places. But so, well, more importantly, I often wonder how did it survive in walls? Where does it get the nutrition? This is a good question. Yeah. I don't know. It's amazing to me. <laughs> Absolutely I, amazing. I often look at how did they manage to yeah. survive there? Nature's there. amazing. Yeah, but a lot of stuff there that's not out yet, have you? Yeah, that's not it. In bloom. Right. There's no bloom there on has, them yet. There hasn't been a huge amount of sunshine yet. <laughs> but it, it is, in fairness, it's a challenging site. This entire area was just pure wet grass that they'd have to cut. So I asked the council, could they give it to us to uh, plant native wildflowers and to put in a wildlife pond. And I have a wildlife pond down there. And every year we have frogs and tadpoles in it. And I see the birds making use of it. And it just shows it there cannot be too many wildlife ponds. Anyone that puts in a wildlife pond in their garden is doing a mighty thing for our wildlife. Where the, the pond over, over ran with weeds now, it is. It's, it's in there, like, it's through there. It's in the middle of that someplace, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see it here, we got it, yeah? Yeah. And this location is down the Newport Road, yeah? This is on the Newport Road. Newport Road, right on our doorstep, yeah. yeah. Right on the doorstep. You think there's stuff in there, would there be any fish life in there, yes? No, you wouldn't put fish into a wildlife pond, because it'd just eat every single thing. Yeah. But, get the frogs, as I said, and the tadpoles, and... There's a pollinator uh, called the hoverfly, and they need these areas as well to lay their eggs. And they're, they're cute enough to make themselves look like wasps or bees, but they're pure harmless. <laughs> and um, it's beautiful to see them making use of the pond and then making use of the flowers. So it's, when I'm here on my own, it's all very interesting. I'm here on my own, and after a little while, whatever wildlife is around gets used to me and just gets on with its business. And then I'm nature spotting. And as, do they get juicy? They do. They do. Yeah. They do. They, yeah. they, do, they yeah. do. Yeah. You'll see the birds going around looking for insects or seeds, and um, you'll see the bumblebees and the butterflies, and um, it, it, it just gives me a great enjoyment. I really enjoy it. Yeah. After all the, the harassment we've given them over the oh, last hundred years, you think they'd be afraid yeah. of us? Eh? Oh, Jeez, yeah. <laughs> and we're not far from North Woods here too, like so. I imagine that an awful lot of wildlife does overflow from there by yeah. times. Yeah. You know. Do you so ever think you're putting in a bad in, spot, really? You ever think you're putting in a camera in here to see if it's spotted? Oh, jeez, yeah. It's a possibility sometime. Yeah. yeah. To do that, especially in the summer months, you know, I'd be awful interested to see do the birds make use of it, you know, yeah. because. Uh, um, it is essential for the birds to clean their feathers, you know. Well, you're doing a great, you're yeah. doing a great job down here now. Oh, nice true. and quietly. Yeah, nice and quietly. Yeah, nice and quietly. But, it, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll have to come back again when there's a bit more bloom around. Oh, them. that's it. I can see those flowers. They're just about to burst out. Yeah, I can see so, that, Jeff. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, every year is different, and there wasn't a huge amount of sunshine um, since the springtime. You know, it's been... Very changeable. And it's on the side of a very busy road by the side. Very busy road, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well done anyway.